Nigeria has joined the global community to create awareness on mental health as the world marks Mental Health Day. Plus, TV News correspondent Oima Afia spoke to a therapist, Olabisi Anthony Dara, who pointed out the triggers of poor men of mental illness and the prevention of disorders. Her report. United Nations set aside a day to educate, create more awareness and advocate against social stigma associated with mental health issues. According to the World Health Organization, the COVID-19 pandemic has had a major impact on people's mental health, health and other frontline workers, those with pre-existing mental health conditions, students and people living alone have been particularly affected. Nigeria, with its many challenges ranging from kidnappings, mothers to poor living standard, has no doubt triggered mental instability in some persons. Olabisi Anthony Dara is a therapist. She speaks on the triggers. There are two categories of mental health, I would say. You can be in good mental health or sound mental health, or you can be in poor mental health. Usually what I've found is people use mental health and mental health disorder or mental illness interchangeably, but they are two different things. Mental health affects everybody. Mental illness, however, is a diagnosed condition that affects your thoughts and behavior. So certain factors that trigger mental health disorder are life condition. Let's talk about our social economic condition. Things are hard generally for people. They also have financial problems. When you don't have money, it bothers you a lot. Imagine a parent that is unable to pay school fees for his or her child wouldn't have a sound mental health. Anthony Dara advises on regular checkup when signs of mental instability, such as depression and anxiety disorder, shows up. So checkup generally, Nigerians are checkup. You know, we need to do a lot in that respect, um, particularly when you talk about mental health checkup. The huge stigmatization around mental health illness, I think, sort of affects people to speak openly about their challenges. Um, there are so much being done now. I mean, there's awareness. There are a lot of um, media houses such as yours promoting this today, talking about it, making people aware and possibly take next steps, right? So people are becoming freer, though there's a lot of work, like I said, that needs to be done in that respect. But um, even offices, organizations are you know, engaging their staff and encouraging them to speak openly about their mental health challenges. Nigeria lost a very vibrant comedian and actress, Ada Ame, recently after she publicly opened up on her mental state. I was given a job. I didn't do the job because I had mental issues. Would people understand when you say you have mental issues? They won't. Nigerians on the street speak on what affects their mental health. Things, depression, um, lack of money, and a lack of people help around you. People that's around, you know, we have sometimes we just need someone to encourage you. Uh, trying to get something, unable to get it, you know, disappointment, failures, you know. Those are the issues that can bring mental health. The World Health Organization estimates that 30% of Nigerians, 200 million strong population, suffer from mental illness, while fewer than 10% have access to mental health care. Experts advocate that people be open about their mental state and receive treatment to stay sane and alive. Plus TV News, Uyime Elijah. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.